Thank you. Jack, you know, we had a big fight for a long time, and um, but now, days long past are in the past, and uh, that's all there is to it. There and you go. Would you like to try our cherry pie? Oh, ah. cherry pie? That's kind of dirty. Well, ah. <laughs> cherry pie, here you go. Oh, thank you very much, my dear. You're so welcome. Ainsworth, do you have any new skeletons? Actually, old skeletons. I gotta get this out of my closet so it doesn't stay there. Oh, please do. You know we love that. Let's see. Her name was Susan. Her eyes were green. And she was really effing mean. Susan uh, broke my heart not once but thrice because I'm an idiot. And when she asked me to come over for beep, uh, I did it. So that's the skeleton which has remained buried, but now it's out in public. Hi, Mom. Was it fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. It was worth it. <laughs> then have some cherry pie, Ainsworth. Can you get it? There you go. So do you have any shows coming up? Those songs are awesome. So those are new songs in the repertoire of Ainsworth? Those are new. Those are new. So you parody? Those are the first, time, those are the first time they've been played in, well, actually, well, one of those songs got played in the Muff Cave. Okay, that's where I met you. I met you right. in the Muff Cave. So one of those songs is not completely brand new. Okay. The other one, uh, the first one that you heard, Zuccotti Park, that's the first time anybody's heard that anywhere in public. And that that's all about the big bad green, huh? Well, put it this way. The Federal Reserve is about as federal as Federal Express. It's neither federal nor is it a reserve. It's a Ponzi scheme for fat cats who take money from the middle class through a vehicle called the Internal Revenue Is that the 1%? Service. Oh, they're higher than the 1%. They make the 1% look like pikers. The people that own and run the Fed are the devil incarnate. Is that right? Yes, they are. And, and we have the devil in yeah, the Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do, too. We got him in the house. Yes, We have the, the devil house. in the house? Well, we do. Actually, yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't look like Ben Bernanke to me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And he doesn't even look like Evelyn Rothschild. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And being of the Christian faith, my new Christian album is um, pretty Christian, so this is kind of a disturbing subject. But you know what? Good and evil everywhere we go in the world, you know? Ask Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack, <laughs> Jack was pretty evil for a long time. Do you think know. Jack Black is on the no, dark sir. side of things? I don't know. Oh, we were talking about Jack Daniels. Yeah, well, it's a black bottle, isn't it? Yeah. Jack Black. So uh -huh. it's Jack it black yeah, now they have honey, Jack Daniels. Oh, oh so good. Honey Jack. So we got to <laughs> but I'm so happy you're here. And do you have a website that people can find you? Unfortunately, I don't really have my own website. Facebook? Um, um, find me on Facebook. Um, go to Bandcamp and look up my band, Papa Cat, which recorded I Miss Getting Stoned with Joey Ramone. Yes, Joey uh, always comes up. We love Joey. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking today. about him today. He was definitely the tallest guy I ever got high with. Yeah. Uh, and also, an incredibly nice guy. Nice guy. I love Joey Ramone. Um, yeah, I mean, Absolutely, Joey Ramones, Cole Camper. Anyway, long story short, and very short, how short is short? God Stars, that's the name of my next project. And uh, Do you have a website? We now have a, well, it's not listed quite yet, because it's very new, but there's some national players on it, and um, several performers, drummer from Rick Derringer, and the bass player, Ken Mutnow, the drummer, and uh, 
Charles Torres on the bass. Do you have any upcoming gigs? Well, soon, maybe a little bit after the summer. The albums were just written, so we're, we have to record them. Uh, actually, next month, so things are great, and you are beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. And me, I'm working on a book that's titled Blackmail, The Second American Revolution. It's about I'm a almost afraid. Very, I'm sure it's a double it's long about a very, it's about a very skilled engineer who actually commits a revolution you know, all you're by reminding himself. Me, you know, you're reminding me of a freaking fortune cookie. Did anyone ever tell you that trick to read at the end of every fortune cookie? Do you? Oh, you mean the numbers on the back? How you win the lottery? No, no, no. That you read every fortune cookie, and after you say it, you say in bed. Did you ever know that? No. I learned that on the Jersey Shore. Oh my God. So, 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 so do I have to get in bed with a beautiful woman? No, you just read cookie? your fortune yeah, cookie. And then at the oh end God. of it, whatever it says, you add. Here's like, you stats. will have a very good future. I guess something yeah. in yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, like that kind of thing. Yeah. And that book title, I don't know, it just reminded me of that. Well, put it this way it's going to be a very exciting read, and it has. More than one outcome, and that's as much as I'm going to review. Oh, excellent. Sorry. Well, thank you so much for visiting and come back. Thanks for having soon. me. It was great. We'll be back with more. Ainsworth Hunt and Doug Dean. Yes, sir. And Cat Mom, too. We'll be back on Cherry Pie Day. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> All right. And I miss getting stung with Joe. Oh, yeah.